Hey folks, this is a review of Jeju Wellness Salon or Sauna Spa in Duluth, Georgia. I was treated to the sauna, the sauna on um, this past Saturday and I wanted to give my review on my experience. I have been here, what, it'll be 20 years in 2020 and I've never gone, heard about it. It's a wellness spa nude spa <laughs> where you can be this open seven days a week even on the holidays 24 hours um they have i don't know like nine different saunas they have a body exfoliation area um reflexology and massage that they give you there so you can actually sleep there too in these particular saunas so we got there and I didn't take any pictures of anything because I was just like, you know, overwhelmed with the process. I didn't take any pictures. Um, once you get in, we were greeted at the front, um, explained that, you know, you pay a $30 fee just to get in. So that $30 fee, if you don't do the body shampoo or the massages, you have access to any of the saunas, whether it's a temperature sauna or a cold sauna any one of those for that fee um and you're given a uniform everybody's given a shirt and a shorts to wear in the co-ed area as well in the sauna area if, unless you're in the area where you're getting the body shampoo and there you're completely nude so and then you're also given like a wristband with your key that's attached to your shoe locker and your main locker and the lockers are separate from men and women and then they meet in the co-ed area and on it is like a barcode that if you use the massage area um food any of those things then it's scanned on there and then you pay for it when you leave you're giving your id at the beginning so that way you can't leave and not pay because you got to get your id back for doing that so we went in, at least I went in on my side, and I was putting my shoes in any random locker and not realizing that the number on my band was the number for my locker for my shoes. So that took me a minute to do. And then I had to go to the main locker, and then I was again just looking for the number, couldn't find it, and then I found the locker and put my clothes in there. So I didn't know, and now I'm young with my husband, so like, I don't have, but he didn't, he happened to not take his phone. Great. Um, so I basically just put on my clothes and then went outside and had to go at that rear. But as you get in, yes, women, there are women all around naked. So if you've been to the gym, you pretty much might not see full nudity. You might see a person in their towel or just changing, but you are walking around and it's nude. So if you're not comfortable with um, seeing other women nude or not wanting anybody else to see you nude, then this is not the spot for you. Um, so I got dressed and I saw that they had like an area where I'm guessing it was um, jacuzzi and that's where they were doing the body shampoo. So I was like, okay, let me go meet my husband first and then see what he wants to do. But I didn't realize that, it, you know, it's separate. Because it's like, okay, once we're back here, we don't, we have no one communicating with each other. So we went out there and he was like, oh, he wanted to do the massage. He wanted to do the body shampoo first. So I said, we well, have to do it in the locker because it's nowhere out here. So I went and then got undressed. And, you know, you were told you have to shower you have to totally shower because now you're getting into the chlorine jacuzzi with other naked women. So basically for prevent germ prevention, obviously. So you have to shower, even though I showered to get there. <laughs> shower, and they have individual showers, and then they have three different jacuzzis. They have a cold jacuzzi, they have a warm, and then they have the hot. So I didn't go into the cold. I went into the hot one. And I was in there, and I was making sure water was hitting my neck because I was, I've was i been tense in the shoulder and neck area. And then I said, okay, let me go do the cold because I know that's to go to cold or hot will help for your joints. I went in the cold, and it is literally like you're being nice, but I did not go whole body. I went 
probably up to my knees in there, um, which was more than enough. I didn't need to do more than that, okay? <laughs> and then I went into, I think I went into the warm, and then I went back into the hot, and then I came out. And so the body shampoo, the fee for that is $50. If you're just doing the basic, if you're doing like the body shampoo and a mask of some sort, it's like $100. Don't ask me why it's more than that after that, but I just did the basic. So they have scrub mitts and a particular, I guess, um, soap that they use to basically exfoliate your whole body. I enjoyed it pleasantly because, of course, you know, I love exfoliation. I love to exfoliate <laughs> face, feet, whatever. But, I mean, they get you, if you're naked, totally naked, on what I call a slipping side bed. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a massage bed and it has like pl not pl I want to say like linoleum plastic that thick kind of plastic and you're on this that's because they have to you know rinse you off they have to soap you and everything so that was kind of interesting um I got scrubbed from head to foot I mean she washed my hair not the best washing of the hair but the wash the hair last so you start with your head down and they're doing the whole back, the arms, everything. They don't go into the private parts, but they get pretty close. And that felt good. Now, the problem was turning over without trying not to, to fall off. So you need some assistance there. Then they do your side. Then they do your frontal. Then they do your other side. And I mean, they're scrubbing breasts. They're scrubbing butt. They're scrubbing all that. They're just not scrubbing in crevices. But then when they rinse you off with the water, it's like, oh. So it's mitts. I'm assuming it's it's all mitts. It might be a dry brush or a loafer. I'm not sure. But I know it's mitts because I was I was a different color when I was done. <laughs> it was a totally different color when I went in. When I came out, it was a totally different color when I came out. I will say my skin is, is, it has been exfoliated. It is soft. It is extremely soft with everything that I put on. That's why I always applaud doing exfoliation because the products that you use after you use that go right in. So when you're done with that, you have to wash again and wash. I guess I washed my hair. I can't remember because she didn't really wash my hair good. Not to my liking anyway. Um, wash and condition it. Dry off. And I didn't even think, well, let me put, you know, body butter on. Because whatever it is they're using is moisturizing. Nah, because I'm dry. Like, literally dry afterwards. But it was okay. I was I was comfortable with that. So, I met my husband after doing that. And he had um acupressure massage. He said he was hurting. He felt worse than when he came in. Because the guy was really put pressure on him so it was an enjoyable massage basically for him so we did that and then we 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 did a charcoal sauna the, the problem with going somewhere with my husband is he jumps from place to place so you don't really get to get the experience that part i sat in a sauna and most people were laying down i sat down in um you know a meditative sit seat that I normally do and I was enjoying the pulling and the detoxing from it but I didn't stay in there that long he was in there maybe two minutes and he said I can't stay in here too much I'm like it's a sauna <laughs> he couldn't stay so we didn't do that we ate afterwards and then I think we left after that I didn't want to do a massage because it's a place that I that I go to to get a massage. I'm thinking about doing the acupuncture, but the food was okay. Out of everything that was there, I picked the shrimp fried rice because I knew at least if it didn't, if it tastes bland, I can add stuff to it, and it tastes pretty okay. Cause I, I ended up being hungry, but again, we went there like we were there maybe like two hours or so. It's just the way how, you know, the stuff is set up. And there were people there that were sleeping on the floor. The floor is heated. I mean, like, on the bare floor. Again, I when I went in those areas, I didn't take my phone. I didn't take pictures. And I saw other people do reviews. And they took pictures and video of what you could. Because you obviously couldn't take pictures of the nude areas. But 
I didn't take pictures because I just wanted to experience the place. Maybe the next time I go, I'll do that. But overall, it was okay. I think if I paid $30 and then used the different saunas, I won't do the body scrub next time because I can do that myself. Um, I think it would be worth it to do that because each sauna has a specific property based on what's in there. So there's the charcoal room. There's one that has... Um, jewels um salt room what else there's other a whole bunch of other ones that's in there with a cold one in there and those all have different properties for your body um so i probably would definitely do that maybe once a month just you know for cleansing and detoxing in that sense but um had i not gone i wouldn't have <laughs> Cause I mean I'm 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 comfortable with myself. You you really have to want to do what it is you're gonna do to be just around other new people. If I was on a nudist beach, I probably would be fine with just seeing other women nude because I'm a woman. But to see women and then men, then it would get weird. So that's a good thing that it's separate <laughs> in that respect. Um, I couldn't see myself staying there 24 hours. I, I definitely wouldn't do that because it's like you're on the floor. But again, it's, um, I don't know what kind of crystal that is on the floor, but it's heated. So they have areas for you to sleep in the different saunas. And then there's an exercise room and there's a place to do nails and to get waxing done. But it was late. So I don't know that those facilities were open that late. I think they open till 12. Um, so yeah, so it was a definitely a different experience, definitely a different date night than what I'm used to. So keep up the good work. Um, I just wish that they had better customer service. Now I will say this: where the the people that were the attendants in the women's room, they got you on point. So if you didn't, you look confused. They came to assist you. My husband never got the body the body scrub. So I was like, when we saw him, and I saw him later, I asked him, I said, did you get the body scrub? He's like, no, I went in there and showered. <laughs> and then I think he said he went in the sauna or he went in the jacuzzi and then he got out. I was like, well, you're supposed to give him your number. They'll call your number from off of your tag. And then they will scrub you. Because that's what they did. He was like, no, because they had closed down those, those things. He said the guys were just walking around. The attendants that were in there were just walking around not giving anybody any instructions. And, you know, dudes, they don't want to ask any questions. So he never got to get that experience, which I thought would have been unfortunate because I was like, well, you should have, you need to experience somebody scrubbing you down. But I don't know what the guys doing, how that would have been weird. <laughs> I don't know how to do it on their side. But we had women that did it. Obviously, you didn't have men that did it. But, he missed that. So just making sure that they have better um, attendance for the men, I guess. Better attendance to guide you so they don't seem like they're so bothered when you ask them a question. Because I kind of felt that way in the restaurant area. You know, they just was like over it. <laughs> Not wanting to you ask them a question because it's like nothing could be substituted with the food or anything like that. But whatever. So I had a good time. I'm getting full body scrubbed because I've never been full body scrubbed like that before, like deep tissue scrubbed. <laughs> okay, so I would I would have highly recommend it if you don't like nudity your own or somebody else's, then don't do that. Don't do it because <laughs> you're not gonna like it. you're gonna see it. But I mean, I'm comfortable just getting into the comfort zone of my own my own nudity. So to see someone else's. You know, you just you just have to take it as it is. So, Jeju Wellness Salon, salon I give you um, a 5 out of 10. You know, there's a little things there that I didn't enjoy, but, you know, it is what it is. So, hope this video finds you well. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we talk about everything having to do with skincare. Talk to y'all soon.